Hi guys, welcome to Ultra Low Brewing. Today we'll be brewing a Czech Pale Lager. Now I've already weighed out our grain, and this consists of some ale malt, some Munich malt, so they're our two base malts that we've used, and then we filled it up with some melanoidin malt and some light crystal, so they'll go well with some colour and some flavour. We've also included some flaked barley, and that'll be great for some extra foaming properties, which will help with head retention, a lot of flavour, and a bit of colour. So let's go ahead and mill this and get this ready to brew. And there we have it. So I have my mill set quite coarse. That'll reduce a lot of efficiency, which is what we aim for with the low alcohol brewing. So now that our mashed water has reached strike temperature, we'll take the lid off. So I've already added my water chemistry. That's now dissolved out. So I'll add in our grain. We'll give that a stir, make sure there's no lumps or any clumps. We'll put the lid back on and that'll mash for 30 minutes at 80 degrees Celsius. And then once the mash is done, we'll transfer it over to our boil kettle. So now that our mash is finished, we're going to remove the grain bag. You're going to let that drain for a short while. Then we'll give it a nice little squeeze and we'll dump it over there. And then we'll transfer this wort over to the boil kettle. Good squeeze. Alright. So once this is filled up, we'll take a quick reading and we'll make sure we've hit our desired target gravity. That way we can make any dilution that we need to make before we start the boil. Okay, so we've come up with a starting gravity of 1007, which is perfect, it's right where we want to be. So while this, this is heating up, we're going to go and measure our hops. I went ahead and measured the hops while I was waiting. For this recipe, traditionally you'd use a Czech style hop, such as Sars, but today we'll be using Australia's Super Pride. I love this hop, it's got a great faint floral citrusy flavour and it has really great bittering properties. Now that's rich rolling boil, we'll put our first addition in and we'll let that go. So we've reached our five minute mark. It's time to put our, our last hop addition and we'll let that finish off five minutes and then we'll transfer it to our fermenter. So our boil has finished, so from now I've just taken a reading, it's come out at 1.008, so that's perfect. From here, we're just going to transfer the hot work into my fermenter cube, which is also going to be the hot cube for overnight. So I'm not going to chill this, I'm just going to fill up my fermenter, let it sit overnight, and in the morning, when it's cooled down to a pitching temperature, I'll take a pH reading and then I'll adjust that with some lactic acid to make sure it's in the food safe of 4.6 pH. That way we won't get any bad bacteria or pathogens causing any trouble. 
Once we've determined that, we will then pitch our yeast, which will be Mangrove Jack's M54 California Lager Strain. That will ferment for a week, and then once that's done, we'll package it and carbonate it in our keg, and then we'll get to taste it. That smells fantastic. So we want to leave behind a little bit of that fluid. That way any little hop debris or grains or any sort of leftover mash material will stay in the pot and not end up in our fermenter. That way we can maintain a clean, clear beer. And there we go. Another beer done. So this will cool down overnight and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future videos. You can also follow us on our social platforms and visit our website with a ton of information and recipes for you to try. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out and ask them. We're happy to help where we can. There will also be a full review of this beer once it's fully carbonated and ready to drink. So watch out for that. Until then, see you next time.